Yes, and it makes us happy to know that we've done something to make this world a better place to live in. As long as we're alive, we're going to be learning. And good evening, Australia. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Michael Kozilny. It's tough times never last, but tough people do. Uh, this show's got a history of about eight years. Um, the reason behind the show, uh, I've worked in the criminal justice system now just for over 30 years. The first 10 uh, at uh, many of our toughest police stations as a police officer, and then the last uh, 20, I think, Henry, as a criminal defence lawyer. That's right. And that's where I met this lovely man, Henry Nissen, ex-Commonwealth boxing champion, and then social worker for the last 35 years or so. But what I like about Henry, and he's one of our regulars, folks, he, um, he's always put others before him. Henry, um, and you really have, you're always smiling. Yeah. Oh, well, you got to smile and try and bring some happiness into the world. Yeah, that's a beautiful... What religion are you? For a lot of you always, always ask me, what religion well, is Henry? Well, um, I think Henry is a Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, uh, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I claim to be part of everyone. The, the world is my family and um, uh, I'm happy to be with everyone. And, and viewers, isn't that a beautiful way to, um, to interpret um, religion or spirituality, you know? You get so many people, so many groups, and they say, well, it's our way, but not your way. You know, you might get the Mormons coming to your door saying, no, it wasn't this way. Uh, and the Catholics who go to church every Sunday, and you might talk about Buddhism, and they go, oh, no, that's all rubbish, you know? But what Henry's saying, he, he accepts that there's a higher power, or, or there's God, and, um, and, and he sees everybody as a global family. And I think that's the way we should really... Um, approach each other you know like brothers and sisters um, uh, going through difficult times and, and if we can relieve the suffering of other people why not that makes a good day doesn't it yes and it makes us happy to know that we've done something to make this world a better place to live in you're so right and and we only spoke about this last week we're both going through some difficult issues at the moment oh, we all are life is full of mm -hmm. difficult issues this is the school of learning and uh, as long as we're alive, we're going to be learning. And uh, as, as things happen, sometimes beyond our control, you have to try and overcome it and not allow yourself to sink into the depths of depression or turn to crime to make short ends meet or do other things to make this world a, a bad place. To live in. And that's a beautiful way of um, putting it into context, Henry, because a lot of people who are going through some difficult issues, when everything's going well, they're happy and, oh yes, they're greeting everybody with a smile, but when things aren't going so well, they uh, they, they bring their misery into, into the world, don't they? That's true. Um, mm. For example, a number of people I've helped who were drug addicts, they didn't start off as drug addicts. They gradually evolved to become drug addicts. They were unhappy in their lives. They tried something to help them forget and before they knew it they got addicted to those things and uh, became worse because then they had to steal and do criminal activities to afford the drugs. So it's from one bad thing to another. And it's just so sad that um, people allow themselves to get into that way of life. But they did it because they were desperate and unfortunately that path came along and they stumbled right into it. Mm. And, and people do, viewers, stumble into different situations. You know, I remember Henry um, saying many years ago, we're, we're all babies and then um, uh, we get moulded by society and all, some people end up, you know, being accountants, lawyers, um, actors, uh, others end up behind bars doing, uh, you know, 10, 20 years in prison for um, violence against um, other people. But it's, it's amazing, isn't it, how um, uh, people always think that lots of money is going to make them happy. We've seen, uh, I've seen plenty of multimillionaires who are very unhappy and um, popping lots of antidepressants uh, every day. It's quite amazing, isn't it? And then we've got this guy here who's never chased um, money or fame and um, um, always smiling. 
Henry, is success an inner journey? It is. It is. Uh, I, I, look, um, I, I, I can honestly say I respect all religions. I don't really belong to any of them, but they can teach you some rules uh, to live your life in a, in certain ways, and that can lead to happiness if you follow those faiths, whatever faith you follow. Um, but basically self-discipline goes a long way to try and help work things out and don't, you know, try and be honest and good and helpful. And um, it, it's, it's pretty hard to even do that, but, um, it's a struggle at times when when you're struggling yourself. Can't we get drunk sometimes and take a few lines of cocaine and <laughs> go to the brothels and uh, be with some prostitutes and uh, that sort of stuff? Well, I don't know. I haven't gone that line, Only so joking, I don't Henry. know. I well, don't that's know. what some of our viewers are thinking. They're saying, can't we do some naughty stuff, you know, to have a bit of fun? Yeah. No, well, but what you're saying no, is beautiful. There, but, look, but, there are people that do all sorts of things and... Uh, I guess depending on which situations we get ourselves in as to uh, which way we go. Mm. That, but I guess the, the main morals to the story is don't do anything to hurt anyone or hurt yourself. Henry, um, you've always been a very irregular guy, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, and, and I think that's why I like you because when I met this guy, folks, I um, uh, I met him around the courts, you know, always had this little backpack and always helping other people, you know, helping the people who've been charged by the courts and um, always giving character evidence and always seeing the good in people, you know, and I think that's so important, being a good finder, not judging people and um, finding the bad, but actually being a good finder because the, everyone's got some good in them, haven't they? So it's very important to not, not judge people. But I, I, I like this guy because... Um, uh, you know, it's much better than uh, being part of the crowd. This guy's never been part of the crowd. He broke away from that, and um, you've always been an original. <laughs> there's no other Henry Nissens. And once you oh, pass there's on, a, there's a Leon Nissen, but uh, and he's similar to me. I've got an identical twin brother. <laughs> 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 but I mean, look, you, I've been lucky to meet up with Father Bob and um, other people. Um, I'm in the process of helping to establish a, another group to help find accommodation for people. Um, but over the years, I've learnt to, uh, as you said, assist people in court. And, um, and we might talk yeah. about your beautiful import into the community after the next break. Okay. Love and best wishes. Thank you for joining <laughs> us. We'll be back very shortly. And thank you very much for joining us this evening wherever you are around Australia or even around the world we've been getting lots of emails from even overseas from um, Canada and the US from Tasmania and New Zealand so love and best wishes um, uh, people go through all sorts of issues don't they as a criminal defense lawyer I get uh, lots of people ring me up about their court cases you know assaults drug offenses um, driving offenses but you know people just ring up to say good day and um, uh, are suffering because of loneliness depression drug addiction so uh, we all suffer you know sometimes we might have 12 months or uh, five years of great times and then something happens um, and uh, all of a sudden we suffer and, and a lot of people are trying to find a solution to get out of that suffering but uh, I think the take-home lesson is we just got to go through that suffering uh, until uh, we can see the rainbow again. Henry Nissen on the couch, one of our regulars, ex-Commonwealth boxing champion, uh, could have um, made a lot of money but he chose to uh, dedicate his uh, life to the welfare of others and that's beautiful you've put service over self haven't you well i was fortunate enough that um, i was successful to a certain extent so i didn't have to work as hard to keep um, the support coming in to look after myself and because at the time I was single I had the time to do whatever I wanted to do and uh, I met beautiful people like Father Bob, I met beautiful people like uh, at the Buddhist Centre, I met beautiful people in all the different uh, places that I went and um, uh, I naturally got drawn into helping people because I started um, seeing people uh, in trouble 
so I made the effort to see what I could do to help them. Mm. And, and I was very impressed by that um, uh, documentary on, was it the SBS, wasn't it? Ah, yes, Hanging yeah. Hanging out with Henry, Hanging yeah. Hanging out with Henry, that's right. Yeah, amazing, <laughs> you know, just a snapshot of, uh, of about uh, an hour of Henry being out on the streets of St Kilda and, <laughs> and, and all the bullshit he put up with, you know, people on drugs, people, um, you know, wanting to punch him. But um, amazing the resilience this man has uh, without uh, showing any anger, you know, and that's another good take home lesson, you know. So many people get angry, but you've managed um, all these years, you know, yes. to. Um, because once these people are off the drugs, they love you like a brother, yeah. like a mentor. Well, it's like my extended family. And that because when you help people who are down and out, they appreciate it. I mean, it doesn't stop them at times when they're going through their um, own uh, difficulties in their home environments. For example, um, sometimes I've walked into a family situation and the husband was hitting the wife, and I said, "Look, mate, you can't keep doing that. Please stop." And he and they didn't stop, so I had to step between them. And naturally enough, I drew the punch punches towards myself. I made the first one miss, punched them back once, and I said, look, I prefer to give you a kiss and a cuddle rather than a punch. <laughs> but after the first punch, they thought they'd better calm down. Is that amazing? But, that's a ter it's, but it's sad that you have to go to that extent sometimes. Yeah. I prefer it when people listen to advice and take it. Mm. <laughs> and, and viewers, what I find interesting about Henry is that, um, you know, when we're walking, um, when we get up every day, we're going to our workplace, uh, you always hear these wonderful me stories, you know, people saying, oh, I've been to Bali, been to Thailand, just bought myself a new BMW, and it's uh, it's all about them, you know, the me, the I, and, and you know, this ego thing, which um, I find now at my age to be quite slimy, you know. I, I much prefer authentic, um, uh, kind-hearted people who, um, uh, who are not too much into themselves, you know. Um, and I was going to ask you, Henry, um, when, when you were, um, I mean, you're still super famous, but when you... Um, infamous uh, now. Infamous. <laughs> I'm when, always in trouble. When you're on the global stage, um, and, and a lot of people say to me, they, they watch you on Channel 7, there was a boxing show, wasn't mm -hmm. there? That's right, TV Ringside. TV Ringside. Or Golden Gloves Boxing on Channel 9. And so many people remember that. How many <laughs> um, months were you on that for? Uh, for years. For years? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you were a celebrity around town. Wasn't too difficult for you to pick up a route in those days? Uh, I, well, I wouldn't talk about that. That's private. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is private, Henry. Hey, I'm, all I can say is I got into uh, hard work and forgot about the other parts of life. Not a good thing to do. No, but was there a time, getting serious now, was there a time when you thought, wow, this is all good, you know, sponsorships coming? Was there, did, did you sort of, um, was there a time in your life when you thought, I'll, I'll smash the ego on the ground and it be, become a bit more authentic? Or have you, have you always been this beautiful person? I just, well, I had a hard life when I grew up because my mother was sick and uh, when she went into hospital to get uh, looked after. My father was working day and night so he could to support his family. I'm one of five children and we all took it in turns going into children's homes. So that was the, the uh, from my early years in life um, up till about um, I guess uh, up till about the age of eight to ten years of our age um, I was going in and out of children's homes when my mother was sick and couldn't look after us. Mm. And, and viewers, isn't it amazing? I really think some of these uh, tough times uh, all our guests talk about and which you're going through at, at the moment as well maybe um, make us stronger. They make us more uh, spiritually resilient. And, and I think unless we've gone through these difficult times, uh, we can't really show genuine compassion towards um, other people you know I know all the um, difficult times I've gone through in um, uh, in the last few decades uh, there's been a lot of great times too but has really made me relate to the clients I represent in court and um, um, and and it does make you feel well better if if life's too soft we can... <laughs> I prefer it soft but I've never, <laughs> never had it so I don't know <laughs> but uh, why I... is it that some people's life is soft and it just flows along and, <laughs> and then other people um, uh, uh, it's almost like a series of um, yeah. challenges it, well it's unfortunately whether they say it's your karma who knows but anyway um, whatever happens happens we have to try and work to make it better and I guess when you look back it's 
we are all learning by the experiences. So we learn different lessons at different times and uh, it's important unfortunately to have to go through those particular experiences that we go through um, because that is what's relevant for us and we, we're all different. Well, of course we're different. Henry, um, at your age now, looking back at the landscape of your life, um, it's, not, it's not about money. It's, I heard somebody say the other day, we're here to, to love and be loved. That's very important. We might speak about loving kindness after the next break. But thanks for joining us. And thanks for joining us, folks. We'll be back, back very shortly with Henry Nissen. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. I'm Michael Kazilny, and we're talking about the ego before, how we uh, really need to, at one stage of our lives, just smash that ego on the ground and just become um, warm-hearted and authentic human beings, you know. Uh, I, I still see it every day, even amongst the legal profession, you know, they shake your hand and they want to tell you about their court case and it's all about me, 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 you know. But if, if we go through life like that, we end up um, uh, with a pretty bullshit life, isn't it? Um, uh, because we have to remember, folks, we come here naked by ourselves and we die naked by ourselves you can't take any of that stuff with you and so many people confuse life about um, you know always uh, chasing more money and um, working for the house and working for the mortgage and, and then they die you know and they've wasted their whole life uh, when really we should um, um, you know forget self live simply and, and scatter sunshine and then you'll probably see uh, the abundance coming into your life because um, uh, you're not always thinking about yourself are many people selfish, Henry? I guess we're all selfish in our own way because even even you and I, because we even even you and I, because we're trying to do what we're trying to do, we've got good thoughts in mind why we're doing it, but maybe we're being selfish to ourselves to do it that way. Who knows? So you can say. I guess the the um, uh, moral of the story is there's a middle path, and as long as you stick to the middle path, you shouldn't stray too far off the line, and that. But <laughs> keep we always have to keep working at it because this is why we're here and that to learn and uh, I'm hoping that you're right that um, there is a higher power up there that's going Gee, to so. look after us. I hope so Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Henry why is there so many divorces? Why is there so much domestic violence? I mean I see it in other courts all the time folks all these beautiful people lining up you know the victims with you know black eyes and the kids crying and um, you know and it's not always the blokes but mainly you know guys get very angry and they get drunk and they're on ice and they're beating up uh, the people they're supposed to be loving, you know, and then the police get involved, they get a smack around the courts. No wonder the courts are getting tough on this now and starting to uh, incarcerate people, which is probably not a bad thing if they keep on coming back. What, why? Well, we're all, we are all at different levels of our lives and some people uh, um, understand straight away that they want to be happy, they don't want to hurt anyone. Others, like you say, drink too much alcohol or use other drugs and uh, as a result have to turn to crime to survive. And all those people in between, there are people who are mentally unstable. But Henry, it, 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 do you think domestic violence has increased in the last few years? Or, of or, course, or and it's, it's going to increase because the bigger the population, the uh, bigger the problem because there's always a percentage of people that get into trouble because of part of those reasons why that I've just spoken about. Um, but um, and always, whenever the population gets bigger, the problems will get, there will be more problems. But the, I guess it's good to see that people are trying to, well, religion. That's been invented by people to help um, make the world a better place to live in. But Henry, let's make this a better world to live in. There's a lot of people out there suffering, going through um, mental ill health issues, anxiety, phobias, and they won't even tell the world because they're too scared about the opinions of other people. You know, that's the greatest fear, the opinions of other people. What, how can we inspire people who um, don't get from the day, but they barely get through the day? They don't want to wake up on uh, tomorrow. Yes, and it's a very sad situation. 
and it's a very difficult situation because if somebody doesn't, if they're too sick and they don't want help or they don't know, um, you can't help them change their way and that's perhaps a good thing that we've got the mental hospitals mm -hmm. to help and I guess the more scientific we become and uh, open up the secrets of how we can produce the medicines to keep people stable. Do you think the medicines though are just masking the problem? Do you think that people have to work well, on the... Well that's the part of it. Mm. Of course medicines mask the problems. Do you think we're all broken, Henry? Do you think we're all perfectly imperfect? Uh, well, we're, I think we're born imperfect and I think uh, we go through our lives. I mean, some philosophies say you live one life in your incarnations and others say you live a number of lives in your incarnations. And uh, the reasons why, because you learn lessons in every life or whichever life you have. Mm. So uh, I... I no, I haven't had any spiritual awakenings to tell me that uh, it's true or it's not true, so I'm putting blind faith into it. But um, I guess I'm happy within myself what's, with what's what I do. What's happiness for you? What's a real Well, happiness for me is um, uh, seeing people around me happy, and if they're not happy, helping to make them happy. And it could be, be it's not because I'm going to give them money, it's because they're succeeding in their lives, doing what they want to do, which is good, honest activities, and uh, learning um, the lessons of life, um, in, by having their families, looking after their children and their wives. And, he, and he's a good Samaritan. I, I, sorry, I keep on cutting him off. But um, I, I, Henry um, uh, is, you know, even though he goes, goes through his own issues, is really a, a, a source of joy. And I think that's one of the take-home lessons I learned from him. Uh, be a source of joy when you wake up tomorrow towards the people around you, your family at work. Even if you're suffering at the moment, uh, don't be a, um, a source of misery, you know. Don't go into the, um, into the self-pity parties and... Um, tell everybody about your problems but um, be a source of joy and um, and you'll see um, people smiling around you. And you Think and you positive. Oh, that's hard though, isn't it? Sometimes. <laughs> it is, it is, but uh, hey, why be negative when you can be positive? And meditation, just finishing yes, off. You yeah. know, we, we, we sometimes go to the Buddhist place and mm -hmm. see the beautiful monks and they're always smiling, you know. Well, what, it's, what nice you to, it's nice to be able to sit down, relax and just look in or meditate as you say uh, and uh, hope or pray whatever some people pray when they meditate um, and allow yourself to receive whatever goodness is out there or inspiration or uh, whether Meditation it's, is or whether it's divine it? healing powers. There we go. And a lot of viewers are saying, what's this uh, divine healing powers? But do a Google search on the benefits of meditation. Henry Nissen. <laughs> Michael Kazilli. <laughs> Great to have you on again <laughs> at the start of a new season. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll be back very shortly. Check out at our Facebook site. We've got more than 25,000 people on it at the moment from all over the world, but uh, would love to hear your message. Good night. We'll see you next week.